Hello everyone, my name's David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand Rangers podcast and I'm joining you tonight after Rangers got our Europa League group stage campaign off to the perfect start with a 2-0 victory over Malmo in Sweden. It's our first win ever over a Swedish side and as a veteran of Gothenburg, of Malmo twice, that's very, very enjoyable and uh, another wee bit of history for Philippe Clement after our first win in Spain last year against Betis. And uh, Rangers thoroughly deserved this, easily the best performance this season and a real cause for hope because tonight Rangers had structure, they had shape, they had attacking intent. If there is one concern uh, tonight, it's the fact that we should have won that game 5-0. I'm not exaggerating for effect, folks. Rangers really did make that many clear-cut chances tonight. That was the only disappointment, though, because Rangers otherwise were excellent. The manager had sprung a surprise by playing Kasim Wiro at left-back in place of the suspended Jefte, but he was excellent. He really was solid, to the point you, you didn't notice that we were missing Jefte. That's how good he was. But Rangers got off to the perfect start. A slack back pass from Malmo. Cyril Dessels latched onto it and rounded the keeper. And he tried to score himself when he might have been better slipping the ball back to... Uh, to the oncoming Bajrami, but he hit the post and luckily it ran straight to Bajrami. I'll put it down as a classic fives wall pass um, and Bajrami was there to, to, to give us a lead. And then Rangers were solid, composed. Uh, I thought the midfield was very good with Diamande and uh, particularly Barron winning a lot of ball, getting to it. And before half time, Rangers really ramped it up and really it should have been done by half time. 100% it should have been done by half time. First of all, a lovely move by Rangers involving three, four players. We walked the ball through to uh, Vasa Cherny. He's, he's clean in on goal, nobody near him, but he puts it past the post. Then a few minutes later, Cyril Dessers uh, tries to slip in by Rami. They get it just slightly wrong by Rami, then tries to play it back to Dessers, and the chance was lost. But you knew they would come out in the second half with a bit more intent because the manager's clearly given them a rocket. But Rangers held them at arm's length during that period, in that 15-minute period. Although they had more of the ball, they weren't really doing anything with it. And I have to compliment Rangers' two centre-halves tonight, uh, Robin Proper and particularly John Souter, with a real leader's centre-half performance. When Rangers did get the second, it came from a substitute, Ross McCausland who came off the bench and was impressive straight away. He really did uh, start well, kept the ball for us, won a few free kicks, but then he scored a beauty. He, he got through winning the ball uh, himself, uh, a high ball, and then bringing it down, running to the edge of the box, and a shot that clipped the inside of the post as it went past the goalkeeper. After that, again, Rangers kept him at uh, kept him at bay. Dessers should have scored one. Carson Weiro could have crowned off a great night with a goal. But we'll take that. We will absolutely take that. And look, in a difficult section, or I don't know what you call it these days because it's just one big group and we all play different teams, with a difficult group of games, we'll, we'll put it like that, this was one that you kind of circle and say we can get something from that. And to get three points from it, three wins will probably be enough to get your playoff place. Well, that's a great start. That really is. And it just gives us something to build on. And the point about this Rangers team is it's a new team. It's not, I think, going to be a complete side this season because I think we're at least a couple of windows away from that. But you can see the start of something, the beginnings of a good team. So fantastic performance, so many great uh, uh, great individual performances tonight, a solid victory, another clean sheet. Work on your finishing. That's, please, in training, just fill, make them stay back and, and make them practice finishing. But now we roll on, we've got Hibs at the weekend and uh, a full open Copeland, so it's going to be good. Anyway, folks, enjoy your night, and I'll talk to you again on Sunday from Ibrox. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.